Once upon a time, in a particular kingdom, lived a kind-hearted named girl named Elara. Elara was the, a daughter of a humble maid who worked tirelessly in the royal palace. Her mother, Amara, was well loved by everyone in the castle, known for her gentle smile and hard work. Despite their modest status, Amara had raised Elara with wisdom, teaching her to be kind, resourceful, and to always hold her head high. Elara spent much of her time helping her mother in the palace. Though her clothes were simple, her spirit was radiant. She had a gift for learning and often find herself drawn to the grand library of the castle. Whenever she had a spare moment, she would sneak inside, reading about faraway land, ancient queens, and a wise king. Her imagination soared with every story, and her dreams grew beyond the walls of the palace. One day, as Elara was cleaning the royal garden, she saw a young boy struggling to climb the tall apple tree that stood in the center. With, without a second thought, Elara ran over to help him, offering a hand and showing him the right branches to grab. The boy smiled, introducing himself as Elias, the prince of the kingdom. Though Elara was shocked to be in the presence of royalty, she treated him as she would any other child. They spent the afternoon talking and laughing, forming a bond that would last for years. As they grew older, their friendship blossomed into something deeper. Elias admired Elara's intelligence, her grace, and the way she saw the world not with ambition but with kindness. Though she was of humble birth, her heart and mind were that of a queen. Elara, on the other hand, was surprised by how humble and compassionate Elias was. Despite his royal upbringing, he listened to her dreams and valued her advice, often seeking her out when he faced difficult decisions. However, not everyone in the palace was pleased with their growing, glowing closeness. Queen Marisol, Elias' mother, was a proud and ambitious woman. She had planned for her son to marry a princess from a neighboring kingdom to strengthen their alliance. When she discovered Elias, Elias's affection for Elara, she was furious. To her, a maiden's daughter was unworthy of the royal bloodline. One evening, after overhearing the queen's disapproval, Elara made the painful decision to distance herself from Elias. She didn't want to be the cause of conflict or ruin his future as king. Heartbroken, she focused on helping her mother and staying away from the prince. But despite her effort, Elias sought her out, determined to win her love. Years passed, and the kingdom, Elias's father, grew ill. He, his health was failing, and soon Elias would have to take the throne. As tensions grew between the kingdom and the neighboring land, the council urged Elias to marry and they solidify alliances. Queen Mauricio, now desperate, arranged for a princess to visit the palace, hoping to secure a marriage. It was during this time that the kingdom faced its greatest threat. A powerful neighboring ruler 
who had long coveted the kingdom's land, declared war. The castle was thrown into chairs, and Elias, though brave, found himself overwhelmed by the mounting pressure. One evening, while wandering the palace garden in despair, he found Elara once more. Elara, he said, this, his voice very heavy with sorrow. I don't know how to lead this kingdom without you by my side. Moved by his words, Elara offered her wisdom, advising Elias on the strategies she had read in the library, in the library during her youth. Her insights proved invaluable, and Elias realizes once more that Elara's mind was as sharp as her heart was kind. He asked her to stay with him, not as a friend, but as his queen. Despite his mother's disapproval, Elias stood firm. The kingdom needed strength, wisdom, and the compassion, and Elara possesses all three. When Elias finally ascended the throne, he declared his love for Elara in front of the entire court. This kingdom needs a ruler with a heart as pure as gold and a mind as wise as the ages. He proclaimed, and that ruler is Elara. Though Queen Marisol initially resisted, she could not deny the royalty and love that Elara inspired in both the prince and the people. The council, recognizing Elara's intelligence and the unity she would bring, eventually supported the, the union. Their wedding was a grand celebration. The people of the kingdom cheered, for they had always known Elara's true words. Her humility, kindness, and wisdom had won their hearts long before ever wore a crown. As Queen Elara ruled with grace and justice, always remembering the lessons her mother had taught her as a child, she ensured that the kingdom prospered not through war or conquest, but through peace, compassion, and fairness. And so, the mess daughter became a queen, not through riches or power, but through her heart, her wisdom, and her unwavering spirit. She and Elias ruled together for many years, and under their reign, the kingdom flourished, becoming a beacon of hope and prosperity for all. The legend of Queen Elara lived on long after her time, a tale of how true nobility comes not from birth but from the heart. I hope you love and enjoy this story. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, tell me what you think about it on the comment section and share this video. Love you guys. Bye.